You have a big day tomorrow. Store day. Well, good night. Fine. Sorry. <laughs> I... I, um... Sorry. This story begins inside a church where a father was praying and two people were looking devastated. We are moved to a scene where a woman and a man look upset due to some unknown event. She suggests him to not send the letter and says the place won't be same anymore. We can see a beautiful restaurant where everything looked perfect without any fault. A chef who was inventing food, perhaps he is a food inventor. He teaches his students to make a dish and suggests them to not make any mistakes. Later, a woman arrives and gives him the mail and reveals if this evening is a fail, they would not be able to support his workers financially. He looks worried about the evening. Chef sits on the chair and opens the letter to read that his father had passed away three weeks ago and left his restaurant for him behind, which was in Italy. He looked a bit panicked. While talking to his student and tastes a dish that he made, he was not that impressed by it and tell him to work harder. He strongly suggests them to work hard for today's evening. They all were making lots of delicious food when a rich-looking man arrives with a woman. It is revealed, chef is called Theo. The rich guy was pretty impressed with all the transformation and pretty much hyper about it, but more concerned on impressing the girl. Theo could not take it and shouted at him and this resulted in them leaving the place. Maybe Theo's father death was taking a toll on him. We can see him back at his house, remembering all moments how his father made him learn about the cooking. Later he meets his mother, where she reveals he was going to be the owner of his father's restaurant. She also got the know about the incident that happened recently, about shouting at the restaurant. He was just stressed out, because of the new restaurant. It was his dream to make a restaurant that will change the way of meals, something extraordinary or evolutionary, and not his father father's old one and he leaves right after. He is seen back at the same restaurant, cleaning it all alone, where the same women comes and begin to help him out. There she reveals, they lost couple of million dollars in this restaurant and didn't want him to leave, but he did not want to be bothered anymore. We can see a beautiful place with many houses of same color. This place is really a beauty of nature. Later, he comes across a house and begin to knock on the door, but unfortunately no one was present there. Even his calls were not picked up by the person. He finally reaches his father's restaurant where the same women from the beginning was serving him food. A small fight happens with them, when the women poured some water along with the ice cubes, which the professional chef did not like, since he never mix up cubes with the pure water. He accidentally end up eating bread with just olive oil and somehow liked it. He did not like the food, so he decided to leave after paying for the food. The woman sees his name on the card and realize she has done a mistake and didn't even let him pay. Later he calls someone called Pino, who he meets in an empty land. He says sorry for his father father and they talk about how he can sell the restaurant owned by his father. He wanted to get out of there as soon as possible, but the man suggested it was not a bicycle for something, but a whole land. Theo was sleeping at night, but his hunger was not letting him. So he wakes up in the middle of the night. Theo picks up many ingredients and slowly begins to invent a new dish of his own. He also cuts a bread with it. He also makes a great bread with the local olive oil with the help of idea he got earlier. We can see him joining the same women for dinner, where Theo asks for the reason she never go back home, to which she says this is her home. She hesitantly asks, what if he did not sell his father's restaurant? Theo thinks the restaurant is a waste and worthless, he just did not want to make a bread every day. This also was pissing off the women, since he did not know the history of how the restaurant was built and he leaves frustrated. Next morning, he wakes up tired, look out of his window and feel kind of happy seeing kids play at the backyard. There she reveals, they were getting ready for a wedding and were busy, while being a bit sarcastic. He sees a statue of his own father and gets pissed off once again. Theo comes inside at the back side of his restaurant and try the weeding food they were preparing and did not like the taste. He insulted the food so much that the woman named Sophia walks away from there angrily. Theo is right, but this was not the best way to approach a situation. He was later walking with the same junior chef of his father's restaurant. There he reveals that it was Sophia's own wedding she was preparing for and she could barely afford it. It was bad. This was a shocking moment for Theo and he thinks deeply about it. Later, he goes into a cheese factory with Sophia. They taste the best cheese they have ever had in their life, and Theo was impressed, which made Sophia's day as well. She leaves Theo to be able to join the dance classes for her wedding. Theo could see it all and laughed a bit, which indeed made her smile as well. Sophia later takes him to her room, where he sees a picture, and Sophia reveals that it was them when they were little kids. He was stunned to see the picture and leaves right after. Later on, Theo meets a rich investor, who reveals that he was willing to pay around 500,000 euros 
euros for the restaurant, but Theo and his agent were not really willing to do anything less than 700,000 euros. Suddenly, Theo comes up with an idea where he will show him how this place can be so much profitable business if it has run the right way. Theo asked for 900,000 euros instead, but Investor was not buying it. He makes a deal with him that he will change the whole map of the restaurant after wedding and the investor agreed to his deal for 900,000 euros and if he fails, he will sell it for 500,000 euros. Theo was standing all alone and processing his thoughts where Sophia decide to show him something. She takes out a book of recipes which belongs to his father. He gets to know he was an inspiration for him. They begin to make one of his signature dishes all together. While preparing, Sophia asked if he ever cooked with his father. He reveals he made him cook thousands of eggs and took him a year for the perfection of making eggs. He also asks her for the reason of not telling him about his wedding and reveals how he was going to make all the food for her wedding. She could not afford it, so he was doing it for free as a gift for all she had done for the restaurant. They eat the food and laugh about it. Later on, every one of the cooks were working their best to come up with the best dishes they can make for Sophia's wedding. Theo was the senior chef and working his best to make the perfect dishes as well. Time to time they would check on the food they made and give them feedback. One evening after getting everything ready, Theo asked if she was ready for her wedding tomorrow. He started kissing her as if he was desperate for it, but Sophia was surprised to see it, where later both of them started kissing while looking into each other's eyes. Theo wakes up the next morning and looks for Sophia, who was getting ready for her wedding. Sophia was looking beautiful in her wedding dress. She asked him if the reason for making the wedding food was just to be able to sell it and it makes her angry when she get to know she was right. She thought he was doing it all for her, but now her nightmare was coming true. They have a little fight, where Theo insults her a little, to which, she slaps him and he flee from the spot. On his way he meets the same woman, who was his partner in business from his previous restaurant, who was invited by him. He didn't want to talk to her and leaves in sheer frustration. Sophia was getting married with Pino, who is Theo's agent. They do the vows in the wedding, but when it comes Sophia's turn, she was pretty hesitant on saying yes, but finally manages to say it. The wedding celebration was going on with pure enjoyment. The food was delicious, even the investor was really impressed with everything, and it seemed the deal was already done. Penny asked him to change his clothes and come to the wedding and enjoy with them, but Theo was really stressed about the situation and drank a little. Theo's friend was trying to comfort him, while Theo was all drunk thinking of her. Later, he stand up and gives a small speech, where he calls his father nice and all, but also insult him for leaving him and his mother. He also ended up insulting Sophia a little for not being nice to him and leaves drunk. He sits beside the pool and throw himself in, and gets rescued by one of the cooks. Next morning, he realizes his mistake, and walks outside to take a look around. While looking at his father's statue, he remembers his past self and starts breaking it with all his power. Later we can see him on a boat in Lake, he was back in his room at his old restaurant. There he was helping his junior chefs and this time he was a bit humble to them, and it seems like he have changed a bit. The money have also arrived from the Italy to be able to invest in the current restaurant. There his mother tells him to blame not only his father, but her mother too, who was herself. Theo was standing with his partner in business to be able to expand the restaurant, but he had different thoughts. He goes back and meets Pino there, who did not wait to throw him a punch. It is revealed that Sophia left Pino. He also paid double the money to the same investor, who bought it for 700,000. He was getting ready for all the renovations done on his father's restaurant. Theo looked at his father's statue and found something buried inside it. It was all those thousand eggshells that Theo made in his childhood, which represent how proud his father was of him. All his students have traveled to Italy and started working at his restaurant, even his partner has arrived there. He himself was enjoying making food along with his partner. Suddenly, Sophia arrives there in her car, where they begin to talk. He offers her to come take a look inside and the love story begins from there. Make sure to subscribe and like for more movie recaps like this.